fighting games, they lose 70% of their players in the first month. Also happened to Vanguard. And also, a lot of people have 100 games in the bla way backlog. Now I'm playing Blasphemous. I'm not dropping Halo. Can't play every game of this. Like, bro, these are points I never even fucking made. <laughs> this person's... Di like, this is fine. Both games seem to be doing well. Fair point. Let's see. Halo Infinite, I feel like, is the only... Or is only good to those who never played the older Halos. And I think I, yeah, I replayed to that. I said it has a good foundation. Just the lack of maps. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, uh, let's see. Mm -mm. So here's a PlayStation person. Or wait. Hold on. Maybe not. I don't know. Of course, more people are playing an endless multiplayer game with even a good campaign, but Sony does not even know what multiplayer games are. So this is somebody who took it the other way. They thought I was, like, bashing um, God of War in this regard. So there you guys go. There's another scenario where someone took it the other way. So like I said, I set this post up <laughs> for people to take the fucking bait on either side of the fence. And that's kind of what we're witnessing here. So let's see what else. Um, let's see. So here's another person. You would think more people would be playing God of War. Guess they already beat it. Like what? <laughs> Bro, God of War costs $50. Halo is free. No shit, it has more players. And it's been out for two weeks, so yeah, people probably already have beaten it. I'm confused, what does this even mean? And then somebody said, Halo is a much better game mechanically and gameplay-wise, and far more viewed than a single-player one-and-done... Wait, what the f... Yo, <laughs> this person took the fucking bait right here. This is a perfect example of somebody, like, thinking I was bashing God of War. <laughs> so Griffin be baiting Xbox and Sony fanboys. This dude got it. Route 77, shout out to you, man. I think you're in the chat right now. Or at least you were earlier. Everyone can catch some smoke. There's Misfit. Agreed, man. Simple auto queue is a feature that definitely needs to come. That shit's so fucking obnoxious. Um. This person has a pretty level take. And there's Tyler suggesting the video top or stream topic. Just like it's meant to be, you love to see it. <laughs> and then here we go, bro. Here comes an argument. Maybe I misunderstood the comment, but is 28,000 players how it's meant to be? If so, that's sad and pathetic, Master Chief. You deserve better. Microsoft is a billion-dollar company. Is this the best Halo 343 has to offer? With six years of development and $500 million, when I see that 20 million players logged on post by 343, I honestly don't know if I'm supposed to be excited or depressed. Hey, guys, we had 12... 20 million people tried the infinite, but only 28,000 stayed until the end of January. It's just corporate bullshit to change the conversation. I mean, hey, if Xbox has 2 million concurrent, heck, even a million concurrent players, I'll be happy to say I'm wrong about the 20 million posts. <laughs> Bruh. Look at this. 28 million on Steam. Don't let Steam numbers cloud your shitty judgment. Bro, what the fuck's wrong with Steam numbers? It's the only objective measure we have. Game Pass numbers are probably way higher. If people want to play the campaign, they are just going to sign up for the $1 deal to do so. Yeah, but most people are still going to play the fucking multiplayer on Steam. Because it's free to play. Most people don't ever want to fucking boot up the Microsoft launcher. 
So only PC fans are leaving in masses? Okay, it's probably maybe 500,000 at best on Xbox. This game, when it launched, was huge. So many people were talking about it, and now the game is going to MCC levels. That's sad. Microsoft doesn't invest in an IP like Halo to only have these type of numbers. Until the Xbox figures are posted with raw data, I think it's stupid to think only PC players are leaving in drones and that the rest have stayed in Xbox with little to no drop in concurrent player bout. This is a good point. The previous comment was fucking stupid. and was fanboy shit. This is a good point. 100%. This is 100% my take. Until we have actual hard numbers, it's all fucking speculation. So, let's see... <laughs> yep, this dude gets it. God of War sold a million copies on PC, so what does this even mean? Bro, that's the thing. It's like this dude thinks I'm trashing God of War. <laughs> it's fucking great. I don't know, man. This was such good bait. I could not... Re I thought about this. I'm like, bro, this is perfect. Single player game. Of course, it has less multi or players than multiplayer, plus Halo's free. Well, I wasn't making a point of either one, but I guess you took it as me bashing God of War. Oh, here we go. Halo has been out longer than God of War. You know that, right, Griff? God of War is the flavor of the month. In a month or so, most of these people will stop playing it. Griff again with the occasional retard take. Bro, like, <laughs> what take was I making here? Like, obviously God of War should have less people playing it playing it you have to fucking pay for it <laughs> and then i replied and said i was told halo would get more popular the longer it was out which is something i was told <laughs> i don't fucking know man A really good fanboy bait. Appreciate it, man. These are newer comments. Um, let's see. These are all new shit. Most people play on Xbox. Do we have numbers to prove that? I don't know, man. It's like there's a lot of assumptions being made. There was one other one I was looking for that was really fucking salty. Where is it? Where was it? Let me see. Most of the comments don't show up unless you sort by new. Hold up. I'm trying to see this shit. There was one more I wanted to read. They delete it? Maybe, because I did reply to Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, I found it. So Steam players are mostly not Halo fans. There we fucking go, dude. This is the one I wanted to read. Holy shit, dude. This is a fucking bad take. Through Game Pass wait, because Halo fans buy the campaign through Game Pass, which is Windows Store. Bro, apparently I'm not a Halo fan because I didn't fucking buy the campaign. <laughs> like, already. Shit fucking take. Obviously, the majority of people are going to be playing on Steam if they're playing multiplayer for Halo Infinite. 
also two thirds of players on our on Xbox, where it's the third most popular game right now. So there's two issues right here. Where the fuck are you getting the statistic that two thirds of players are on Xbox? So if two thirds of the players are on Xbox, that means there's only like 70,000 people online total. So it's really not that great of a look either way. But you're making the assumption that that's actually the distribution, which there's no fucking hard evidence to back that shit up. And also, you don't think Microsoft might have a little bit of an incentive to overinflate the popularity of their own game? Do you not think that Microsoft may not be the best fucking source without actual hard data to back it up to say, yeah, dude, it's the third most popular game on Xbox. Like, why wouldn't they put it in the top five? Why would they let their own game drop down in the rankings when there's literally nothing to fucking base those rankings on from what we can see? <laughs> so this is where the whole fucking argument falls the fuck apart. You're making two very big assumptions that Microsoft has no incentive to manipulate the popularity of their own fucking video game and two, com some completely made up player based distribution that we have no fucking idea if it's true or not. And let's see, Steam charts don't look good, but the game has a very healthy player base. I never said it didn't have a healthy player base. That point was never fucking made. So I respond, and also worth noting, this comment was edited, I believe. I don't know why it's not showing it, but it was, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. But anyway, I put, I put 1,300 hours into MCC on Steam in a year. Am I a Halo fan? I mean, a pretty fair question, right? Am I a Halo fan? Because Halo fans buy the campaign through Game Pass, which is Windows Store. Stop, <laughs> he's already dead. But in all seriousness, what a stupid thing to say that Steam players are not Halo fans. Do you have any evidence for your claim? Or is it a case of trust me, bro? 100%, <laughs> bro. Oh my God, man. It's so true. But like, it's so true. It's literally trust me, bro shit. They make up these like false fucking narratives that have no basis in reality. So most of the fan base, I assume, is playing the game on the Xbox platform. I mean, at least he says, I assume. Halo Infinite usually revolve, wait, Halo Infinite usually revolve around the fourth through sixth position on most played games on the Microsoft Store, so I would say the game isn't doing that good on the PC, but on Xbox, it's doing fine, but that doesn't mean the game is in a good shape. I mean, that's a pretty normal take. So let's see, you are a Halo player. If you consider yourself a fan or not, it's up to you. Though Dexter.com is not wrong. The heavy, the heavy majority of players are playing through Game Pass on Microsoft Store or Xbox. Like over 90% of the players. Okay, so let's do a poll. If you play Halo Infinite on PC, which launcher do you use? Steam, Microsoft Store. Now answer this honestly. If you play on console, don't bother answering. I just want to get a feel for this because I highly fucking doubt the majority of people are using the fucking Microsoft store. Like literally anyone who plays games on PC is going to do everything in their power to stay the fuck away from the Microsoft <laughs> store because it's fucking ass. No one likes the Microsoft store. Like, literally everyone I know who plays Halo Infinite on PC plays through Steam. Because all their friends are already there. I don't know, man. It's just fucking stupid. So let's see. None of my, and I said none of my friends that play Halo on PC play on the Microsoft Store. What? Nah, you're totally not. Oh yeah, I'm replying to the fucking Halo fan shit. Ain't the multiplayer free to play on Steam? Yes, it is, and Steam has the largest PC player base, so logic would assume that a free-to-play game would have the largest audience on Steam. So 
So let's see. Will my friends play the campaign in multiplayer? Why would I download it again to play multiplayer on Steam? Well, the thing is, most people don't play the fucking campaign. Hate to tell you, man, when it comes to a free-to-play shooter, most people are just going to play the free-to-play aspect. Um, let's see. I want to see if somebody else... That's just, if you do on Game Pass, you use the Microsoft's, well, no shit, dude. Wow. That's like saying if I play on Xbox, I use fucking Xbox to download it. You are not the sole representation of the entire Halo fan base or the Steam player base for that ma matter. Hella, hell, statistically, people like you are less than 1% of the Steam user. What the fuck? Bro. Oh my god, bro. What type of fucking... How the fuck can you say I'm not the representative of it and then you're out here acting like you're the fucking representative of it? Like, what the fuck, dude? Anecdotal evidence? I mean, there's no hard fucking numbers to go off of, so it's all he said, she said shit. Just giving my personal experience. So let's see. Does anybody else have a different point? I think he's trying to say Steam aren't most of the players. Well, how do we know that? Do we have numbers? I don't think so. <laughs> but that had to be one of the most idiotic takes I have ever fucking seen, man. That is like one of the most idiotic things. Steam players are mostly not Halo fans. Is that why Halo started out with 250,000 concurrent players? Because Steam users aren't fucking Halo fans? Okay, man. The simple fact is, is Halo's dropped down 90% from its initial, uh, I guess, whatever the fuck, uh, release on Steam. Like, <laughs> the fuck? I don't know. But yeah, it's just really funny. So Scotty Man with the two, that Grove stuff yesterday was weird as fuck. Yeah, it really is, man. There's some crazy shit in the world. Rooster Craig with the two. I just don't like hyper emotional self fish characters. Gears 5K. Yeah, fair enough, man. I don't either. Blake Jones with the five. As long as the Halo show doesn't have a male AI, we should be fine. JK, JK facts, bro. We need some busty ass like blue AI in Halo's TV show. Um, fuck. Sam the Mammoth with the two. I'll buy God of War next month. The Spider Man wall. Go for it, bro. It's a good game. Already on the with the five. Wait, is this about the post you just made? Yup. It's a fucking salt mine out here. Oski Waski with the two. I love Halo. I love God of War. All love, no hate for me. Same here, man. I don't. I just think it's funny. Like everybody thought I had a take in this situation. Like there is no take. And as you guys saw, people were interpreting it both ways. So this was literal fucking fanboy bait. The PlayStation fanboys are going to think I'm bashing God of War because it has less people playing it. And then the Xbox fanboys are going to get pissed because they think I'm bashing Halo because the peak concurrent players is lower than God of War, even though God of War is not a free-to-play game. It's the perfect fucking honeypot for fanboys. They just can't fucking resist. Like, no side was taken in this shit whatsoever. <laughs> like, uh, like the projection and insecurity displayed in the comment section is quite funny in all honesty I don't know man you love to see it that's all I can say so Latinx is the five of Halo players were a fish I know they would never starve because they would always take the bait <laughs> yeah they may not live long but they wouldn't die hungry that's for fucking sure Uh, small but big man, 96 with a 5. I don't know. The new Halo series on Paramount looks decent. Might actually buy a Paramount Plus subscription to watch. Doesn't look woke to me. Me neither, from what I've seen. But I'm going to watch the new trailer tonight and form a proper opinion. Pothead Investor with a 5. For my Griffin, I feel like if I buy a game, I will play it more than a free-to-play one. Hey, fair enough, man. That's definitely a fair point. I don't know. Just typically with me, multiplayer games, I play way more. 
It was bad with the 10. Couldn't Microsoft just play around with the statistics to make it look better in earnings calls? Like counting people that have a copy on Xbox, Windows Store, Game Pass, and Steam as four different users? Yes. 100% and they do that. That's why instead of coming out and saying, like, we have an average concurrent player count of blank, they came out and said that 20 million people have tried Halo Infinite. Not 20 million people are signing into Halo Infinite on a weekly basis, but 20 million people total since November have tried the game. So, yeah. No, 100% companies manipulate numbers all the fucking time. Christian with the 5, I use both Xbox app for Game Pass, Story, Steam for multiplayer, Steam is just better for inviting friends, and tracking in-game time. Exactly. Yup. That's the thing I've had experience with too. All my friends played the campaign on fucking Microsoft's launcher, and then they played multiplayer on Steam because everybody already has everyone added on Steam. DJ Aftershock with the 2, I would use post, I would use post to, wait. I would use post this to ban people to call dead weight. Why would I ban people? It's kind of dumb. SOCOM with the 10. I personally don't think it matters. Play it on whatever launcher you want. As long as you're having fun. Same with God of War. Who cares? People are having fun regardless if you're a fan or not. Exactly, man. It's video games. Have fun with this shit. It's not serious. And Artie Melikov with the five savage attacking both sides at once. And that's the thing, dude. It's like attacking both sides without even attacking both sides. Like, I took no fucking stance in this situation. At all. For Kinsey with the two to compare, we could always try achievements. I mean, I guess, yeah. I don't fucking know, bro. I know, dude. How dare I look at Steam numbers and not Xbox numbers. If only Xbox numbers fucking existed. <laughs> that's the thing is like I'm perfectly open to taking a look at Xbox numbers but it's like <laughs> it's like we don't have them Microsoft does not release that shit at all dude they don't release that shit at fucking all so we have no factual information to go off of other than Steam charts that is the only objective measure we have which let's look at Destiny real quick Bro, two times the people that are playing Halo right now are playing Destiny. Hate to see it. Like, let's see. Actually, three times. Halo's at 15,000 people right now. Destiny was at... 43,000. So, roughly three times the amount of people are playing Destiny versus Halo right now. But I'll still have motherfuckers in my comments say, You fucking shill. Halo's bigger than Destiny could ever fucking hope to be, you piece of fucking shit. Now let's check God of War. Let's see how many people are on that right now. Mm -mm -mm, where the fuck is God of War? Where is it? Am I like blind? Oh, it's up here. Okay. So there are... There are actually more people in game in God of War right now. There's 2,000 more people playing God of War than Halo right now. Unlucky. But yeah, I don't know, bro. I, it's like a no-win situation. I'll get called a fanboy, a hater, whatever, whatever. See here with the two.